SARMs, should you use them? Watch this. Our first caller is Wade from Michigan. Wade, what's happening? How can we help you? I was actually, um, first of all, I want to appreciate, uh, I want to tell you that I appreciate all your insight and everything in your, your podcast. It's been really very informative for me. And uh, I I don't know, can't say enough about you guys. You're, you're fantastic. Um, Thank you. I was um, actually inquiring about myostatin inhibitors. Um I'm curious about there. I know I've done some research on them and uh, I know that there are, are, or there's one in particular that has kind of drawn some interest with people. It's called YK 11. And um, I don't know a lot about myostatin. I know the antagonist is folostatin in your body. And and basically if you have lower myostatin then you're able to produce larger muscle mass. Um, can you guys share any insight on that? Paul? So you, you want to look like one of those whippet dogs, yeah. is what you're saying. Totally, like yeah. Flex yeah. Wheeler. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. So here's what's interesting about, well, first off, this is a wonderful example of the the what the supplement industry likes to do when science comes out. So years ago, there was kind of this uh, discovery that if you, if you inhibit myostatin, and they did this pharmaceutically or they did this genetically with animals, you mm-hmm. would get this kind of runaway muscle growth. And there were these really dramatic pictures of mice, you know, that were that had their myostatin inhibited, or cows, or dogs, and it was like, it was like a a, a bodybuilder's wet dream. I mean, it made steroids, it made steroids look like vitamin C in terms of just how absolutely. It's almost like the holy grail, you know. It's, it kind of seems that way. It's crazy. Now, here's the problem. The problem is the supplement industry saw this research, and they quickly went into how can we market supplements that will promise to do the same thing. So far. Okay, now here's the truth. Creatine inhibits myostatin to a degree. Leucine, mm-hmm. the amino acid leucine, can inhibit it to a degree. Uh, to mm-hmm. a degree, resistance training will inhibit myostatin to a degree. Anything that helps promote muscle growth uh, will inhibit myostatin to a degree. Is there anything out there legally available um, that will inhibit myostatin anywhere near the neighborhood of what the studies done on animals, you know, showed? No, there's nothing that comes even close to that. Now you just referred to a uh, selective androgen receptor modulator, like a research chemical. Correct. Yep. Um, and it really, it's, you know, uh, it's, it's inhibition of myostatin is similar to what you'd find by taking anything that activates the androgen receptor, like testosterone or an anabolic steroid. I, <laughs> my, my firm belief around SARMs is they're not researched uh, very much. They're not mm-hmm. approved for human consumption. We don't right. know what they do long term. And if you're going to go that route, if you're going to use something that's not approved for human use, and I'm not recommending you do this either, but if that's the direction you go, you're much better off getting yourself some anabolic steroids yeah. or testosterone because they've been around forever. We know what they do. We know what they don't do. SARMs, we're still kind of up in the air. And I have yet to see any SARM that even comes close uh, to what like testosterone would do. Yeah. But, but besides that, it really, there's nothing natural on the market that's going to do it. Uh, like I said, creatine, working out, but there's really nothing you're going to take well, naturally did, that's going to do anything that's substantial. Didn't we even speculate for a while, like there's a lot of bodybuilders going to Kuwait um, and then coming back just insanely jacked. And uh, we asked Ben Pakulski about yep. this, right? And he he just exclaimed that they had everything dialed in like uh, to a degree where uh, their food was all prepped for them, their sleep was all regimented, their you know pharmaceutical grade testosterone was like one of the best you know around. So it was you know literally they just like stacked everything perfectly uh, in that environment. Yeah, I mean, again, I, I would, I would stay away from um, any, you know, SARM or anything that's really not approved. These are kind of experimental pharmaceutical drugs. Drugs. Some of them that people were using early on now are finding, oh, probably not great for your liver or can cause issues with your vision or your or or cancer. So I would stay away from them. And again, if you're going to go that route, where you're going to start experimenting. With pharmaceuticals, uh, I mean, testosterone and anabolic steroids have been around for decades. We know what they do and what they don't do. You're better, sure. off, and they're going to give you better results. But I, I don't even recommend. I, obviously, I don't recommend that either. Um, as far as natural well, supplements, yeah, and as far as natural <laughs> supplements are concerned, nothing's gonna nothing's gonna do anything. Wait, wait, are anything. you are you in our uh, mind pump hormones group by chance? Am I what? We have a, a we actually have a mind pump hormones group. Are you in that by chance? 
No, I'm not. No. Okay, it's a free group. It's on Facebook. You should totally join it. This is there's great okay. conver- there's great conversation around SARMs and testosterone and all that stuff. Yeah, really smart people in there. Yeah, no, we have two brilliant doctors, uh, hormone doctors in there. So the great, and they okay. they actually twice a month go on and do live Q and A's where you could ask them anything you want, and uh, they're they're answering everybody that's in the audience. So super valuable, sure. totally free to you. I would recommend doing that. Uh, and you can also always rest assured that if there's something that that's this groundbreaking that comes out and hits the market, you'll hear it on here probably first. I mean, the I'll, amount I'll of take it. Sal is uh, <laughs> Sal's on every you know uh, deep web uh, black market you know supplement uh, forum that exists, and he's always scouring the internet for what's the latest and greatest and coming out. And he normally, like a guinea pig, will test himself. Yeah. Uh, so we'll definitely <laughs> we'll be on the DNA. front end of anything that comes out, and I promise that we'll let our audience know if, if anything worth trying or taking hits the yeah, market and, and wade this is 100 percent right if a true effective myostatin inhibitor comes out like one that really inhibits myostatin not one that inhibits mm. it kind of like you know like on the like as a side effect like creatine or whatever but one that really does an effective job we will sure. all hear about it because it will be oh absolutely yeah it, it will it will it will make anabolic steroids obsolete literally you'll see 300 pound uh you know point guards in the in the nba uh, it will be like nothing like we've ever seen before based off of these you know initial animal studies Powerful. by the way there's there's side effect myostatin exists for a reason so it's not like it'd be this panacea where you take it and, oh i build muscle with no side effects um it's probably it's probably going to come along with its own probably issues takes like 20 years off your life maybe <laughs> right yeah, or, your, guess. or your heart gets all big too or something like that so yeah. hope that right. helps you Right. Well, I do. I do know that there is one um, when they when they actually tested the mice that there were some issues with their tendons and bone yeah. as well. Yeah, you know, because yeah, your body kind of naturally surprising. regulates itself to the point to where your tendons and bones can actually hold that amount of mass. That's right. That's yeah, right. and even so. look, at, even with anabolic steroids, you'll see people take high doses, and the muscles will grow much faster yes. than the support system. So you'll see tears and and issues. Um, in, in muscle tears or tendon tears or ligament tears because right. those parts of the body take longer uh, to build and to strengthen. Sure. So, But besides that, there's other side effects, right? There's other things that we start to see down the road. But I mean, te- again, testosterone and anabolics, I mean, testosterone, obviously it's what we already produce. Like some of the old school anabolics that have been around, have been around since the 50s, 60s, you know, like they haven't really come out with any newer ones. In a long time, mm-hmm. and we know what they do and what they don't do largely because they've been around for a long time. These SARMs, I mean, the the one you mentioned, I don't think there's a single human study uh, like so. No, uh, there there isn't. I I did a lot of research on that. There's a there's one other guy that uh, did a podcast on it. It was like 18 minutes long. It was pretty extensive research, but um, there's really no human study at all. No, so. and, and 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 you know, just because something you know attaches to the androgen receptor. And we think, oh, cool, it, you know, it's going to activate these anabolic androgenic, re- you know, responses, and it's going to take away the, you know, maybe the negatives of testosterone. Like we don't know, we don't know what they do long term. We don't, we don't know yet. So until that, right. until we know, I'm not going to recommend. I'm going to tell people stay away. Right. Cool. Absolutely, 100. All right. Awesome. Thanks, Wade. Yeah. Thank Thanks you, Wade. Thanks for calling in. Thank you. Yep. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, I mean, it's it's fun we to do, we look do at all for- this weird, crazy stuff, but. <laughs> Uh, and I get it, like you know, I'm, this is coming from me, uh, but you know, be careful because you, you don't want. And I remember there was one. So I don't remember the name of the SARM. I forgot what it was, but I remember people were write, were writing in the forums. This is when I was reading about them. I mean, years ago when they first came out, and people were like, "Yeah, it's really cool," but after about six weeks, yeah. you start I to grew lose a tail. No, no, like you start to lose your <laughs> night vision. At night, it's harder to see. Oh. I'm like, what the hell? What? <laughs> That's not good. Yeah, but I gained five pounds of muscle. Oh. <laughs> Oh you, yeah! If you okay. can't see it, who cares? You know what I mean? I mean yeah, no. It's you know, it's uh, SARMs are like super. I mean, they've been popular since we've been talking about it, right? Like I remember when it first came on the scene, but it ain't slowing down. And there's start there's people that have podcasts dedicated to it now, and that's all they talk about. And people hustling them. You know, what it reminds me of yeah. you know this because you were in the cannabis market. Do you remember how popular? synthetic uh like cannabinoid you uh, remember like yeah. spice or whatever oh yeah and then kids were overdosing and shit like yeah. you can't overdose on on weed yeah, right. turn into zombies but why because it was legal oh, no, that was you know basalt. because sarms are available online yeah that's why they're popular because they don't even do what testosterone does they don't even come close the only reason why people are using them is because they're afraid to go buy black market 
anabolics. And that's the part that's so funny. I mean, I get it though because I was a uh, I was a young twenty year old kid who was thought the same thing too. Like I was willing to take every experimental thing as long as it wasn't steroids. Because yep. then I could say I didn't. I never touched steroids. I never touched steroids. But it's like I'm trying all this other stuff. <laughs> I just did all the rejects. Yeah, that, all the uh, all the stuff that's it. as dangerous, may, potentially more dangerous, and they sell you on the idea that they're not. Mm -hmm. And so it's like. Oh man, bro! That mentality is why I use like super drawl, methyl master, like all these pro hormones. Turned out to be designer steroids, yeah. <laughs> so it's like yeah. waste of time. Right. Hey, if you enjoyed that clip, you can find the full episode here, or you can find other clips over here. And be sure to subscribe.